Hey. My name is Yoshihisa Toyago. I'm 22 and I've been working for my company for half a year. And being alone with my gorgeous boss at the office is the most flustered I've ever been in my life. You know you can talk to me, right? What do I do? Does she know? Yoshihisa, can I talk to you? Uh, sure, Miss Kusu. Oh dear. Please call me Akemi. We use first names here to make the workplace more relaxing. Okay, Akemi. Anyway, about the materials I mentioned about before. I've already uploaded them to the cloud. You're always so efficient. You're a big help. Oh, uh, no problem. If there's nothing else, please excuse me. Thanks again. OG, OG, OG! Did I say anything weird? Am I clear? Akimi, could you come over and check the estimates with me? I've already reserved a table at a restaurant for a meeting with Voice Comic. Let's get there early. When are we lunch together? Popular as always. Akimi Kusu, the office Madonna. She's 26 years old, the project leader, and a top worker. Not to mention super attractive. I wish I could be as accomplished, but I just have to keep on working hard. I don't have the guts to tell her how I feel, though. I'm not strong or interesting, and I don't have any special skills. All I can do is... Alright, I'm done. Let's upload this to Witter. Madoka, the office beauty. Good morning, Miss Hanazawa. Yuki, I've told you before. Huh? What did I do? <gasps> We're on a first-name basis. Uh, Madoka, I love you! Smitten with love, I drew a comic modeling the heroine after Akami. Of course, I can't tell anyone about this. Oh, I've got responses. It's a silly romance comic, but a lot of people are finding it. Today's comic is great too. Will he ever say that last line out loud? Huh, I'm glad Villager 1 always gives feedback. Thank you so much. It would really be great if he could say that, lol. I bet Madoka is waiting for him to fess up. Confess his feelings, huh? Maybe in this fictional world, but reality's a no-go, though. A good thing happened one day. Akimi and I were out and finished a meeting with a client. Thanks for coming with me, Yoshihisa. You were a huge help. <laughs> Not at all. I just stood by. Say, do you want to have lunch before we head back? Huh? Lunch with Akimi? Just the two of us? How about it? Uh, sorry, I still have work to do. Oh, really? I really am sorry! See you back at the office! Y Yoshihisa? I ran away. I'm such a stupid loser. But lunch alone with her is too much for me. Hey, Yoshihisa. Where's Akame? I think she's out for lunch. She didn't invite you to eat out with her? Well, she did, but I turned it down. Why? Well, I, I mean, uh, I thought you were into her, though. What? What? M me? Into Akame? No need to be all shy about it. It's written all over your face. You're as red as a tomato. Uh, um... You're not? Yeah, not at all. I'm not into Akimi like that. I'm back. What? Akimi? Oh no, did she hear that? That wasn't very nice of you, Yoshihisa. Dashing back ahead of me. <sighs> I guess not. Phew. Hey everyone, wanna go out for lunch? Yeah, I'm in. Yoshihisa too, right? Um... I'm gonna get so nervous I won't taste a thing. Sorry, like I said, I have work to do. Okay, next time then. What are you in the mood for, Akami? I know a place with great sweet and sour soup. <sighs> Yoshihisa. Madoka, the office beauty. This pancake is so delicious. I'm glad. Now say ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is amazing. They're so lovey-dovey. Thank you. This is just a shy guy's fantasy, though. It's just my fantasy. I wish I could be like you, Yuki. Having the guts to go out for lunch with the person you admire. I'm sure people will call the real me a chicken and a wuss in the comments, and Uta will have a laugh at that. I keep hesitating and can't move forward at all. I just throw my imaginary scenario on this secret account and it just depresses me. <sighs> What's with the big sigh? Oh, Akimi. Are you okay? Looks like you have something on your mind. Yeah, I'm totally fine. Oh, what do I do? It's just the two of us. I have to talk, but I just can't. Please excuse me. 
Not so fast. Ah! Trying to run away again. I'm sorry. He's up close. Oh, wait, what's going on? Is this real or a fantasy? You know you can talk to me, right? Huh? What does she mean by that? Oh, not at all. I'm not into Akimi like that. Ah! Is the cat out of the bag? I'll wait until you're ready to tell me what's really on your mind. This is terrible. What I said is the exact opposite of how I feel. But she doesn't know that, so my heart sank. I had no idea what to do with my feelings. I couldn't imagine anything, and I couldn't draw. I just felt completely empty. It became harder and harder for me to talk to Akami, but whatever. I'm not a good match for her anyway. And I'm done with drawing comics. It's time for me to face reality. Uta, I'm sorry you're going to get more comments about how big of a chicken I am. Hey, Yoshihisa. What is it? Akami seems pretty sad these days. Huh? I mean, now that you mention it, there hasn't been a lot of energy in her greetings or smiles. Do you know anything about it? You're always looking over at her. No, I don't. Sorry. I like her so much, but I didn't even notice. I wonder what's got her down. Oh! Hey, Yoshihisa. Still working? No, I just finished. I see. Now that I see her, she does seem kind of sad. Ugh, can you really leave things like this, me? You have to be brave. Tell her that you not liking her is a big misunderstanding. Uh, Akimi! Huh? Is something bothering you? What's this about? I you're always watching out for me, you know? I know I'm not that dependable, but I can at least hear you out. Yoshihisa, thank you. Then could you listen for a bit? Yes! What's on your mind? There's a comic I really like and it hasn't been updating. Huh? A comic? The artist uploads it to the writer. I didn't know she reads those. It's a romantic comedy where the woman is older than the man. What? Her name is Madoka, and the man makes just a little progress in their relationship. Wait, wait, wait! It's probably faster to show you the comic itself. Here it is. It's called Madoka the Office Beauty. Ah! I knew it! So it was your comic after all. Uh, well... Uh... Thank goodness! I don't know what I would have done if I was wrong. I found Shy Guy's comic by complete coincidence. I thought the story seemed familiar and wondered if this was about you and me. Well, and, and, um, uh, take me away and bury me in a hole. The person I based the heroine on reading my comic? This is even worse than being in an Iron Maiden. So, why did you stop updating? I've been so worried I haven't been able to sleep recently. Wait, you don't hate it? It doesn't gross you out? Why would you think that? Because I basically drew you into my imaginary scenarios. And what's wrong with that? I think most people would be happy about that. What? You can be so dense. I want us to be more like Madoka and Yuki. Say what? But I'm not a good match for you. What? I think you're great. I prefer someone more reserved than someone who's bold. And you do great work. I couldn't be happier. Uh, Akimi? You've drawn Yuki being hugged, right? So, can you tell me how you really feel? I... 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 I like... I really like you, Akumi! Based on the comic inspired by and modeled by after their relationship, Madoka the Office Beauty will come out in theaters. Here, here. hope it'll be popular for a long time! The comic comes to life! I'm so embarrassed. Akumi, what even is this? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? It's great that you two got together. For sure. Amazing job, Akami. You really made it work seeing as Yoshihara has no self-confidence. Akami really did it! <laughs> did he? You're really enjoying this. Our parents could see the movie too, you know. I wouldn't worry about that. After all, I think we could even be more lovey-dovey. Bonus episode. What? Akami, you've been following my account? I use my own secret account. What's your handle? I'll follow you back. It's villager1 at I want to be a wall. Wait. I said it's villager1 at I want to be a wall. Seriously? You were the one always commenting? I forgot to mention. The idea is that I want to be a wall at work so I can watch over you. She told me that so easily.